All right, welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video, but it feels really good to be back, especially because today I am announcing a brand new challenge in partnership with my good friends over at Storyblocks. Over the past couple of years, in between filming commercials and B-roll, behind the scenes, tutorials, we've also mixed in some challenges. You might remember the one where I had complete strangers re-edit a commercial I made. I even challenged my girlfriend to try and film and edit a video in my style. And most recently, you might've seen the series I started where I attempt to re-edit my subscribers' videos. But today, for the first time ever, I am challenging all of you out there, no matter where you are, to re-edit my footage, and yes, there are prizes at stake. Now the other day, with the help of my girlfriend Sarah, we spent a bunch of hours just getting a plethora of cooking shots of this sort of deconstructed sushi bowl or poke bowl. It's one of our favorite dinners. And we totally overshot the amount of footage that you would actually need to create an edit out of something like that. There's all kinds of ingredients and camera angles and movements. We were throwing vegetables, rolling things, dropping stuff, spinning stuff, pouring stuff, chopping things, all the things and stuff that you could possibly need to do to capture an epic B-roll video. We got the shots for that and it's inspired by the salad video we made a couple years back. These are the shots that I want to see you edit into your own original videos and the top three submissions will be receiving some really awesome prizes. Now before we dive into the rules and the prizes, there are a few things I want to tell you about this footage so that you can get the most out of it. Everything is shot in 4K at 120 frames per second, already slowed down to 20% speed. So if you want a clip to play at normal speed, you can take the slow motion clip and speed it up by five times or 500% and that will give you a playback of regular speed. Now because the shots are all in 4K, this gives you a little bit of flexibility with framing and resizing, so feel free to get creative with your compositions if you want to crop in. Whatever it is you want to do with the footage, the world is your oyster. Now additionally, all of the footage is shot with a log picture profile. This will give you the most flexibility when it comes to color grading. As you can see, the footage on its own is very flat and dull, but you can add saturation, add contrast, and add any LUTs or looks that you want to give to the footage to make it unique to you. Here is how the Edit My Video Challenge is going to work. If you would like to participate in this challenge and take a crack at editing these shots, then go to the link in the description below or go to storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer. This will direct you to my landing page and from there you can head over to the everything you need for the challenge section, select get my starter pack and from there you can enter your email address. Once you have done that, you will receive an email with absolutely everything you need to know about the challenge and most importantly, you will gain access to my free Storyblocks collection containing all of the footage that you will be editing into your masterpiece at no cost. The challenge is of course completely free to enter and there are more than enough clips to work with inside that free collection. There are even multiple takes to choose from if a certain shot doesn't meet your needs. But if you are interested, I do also have some extra bonus footage that is available exclusively for Storyblocks members to play around with if you have a Storyblocks subscription. Now, as you already know, I have been working with Storyblocks a lot over the past few years. And if you have been paying attention to my ad reads, you would also know that they are 100% my go-to for all of my stock footage needs. Whether that's dynamic backgrounds for my product commercials or film burns for those spicy transitions or a smoke overlay for dramatic effect. Storyblocks and their massive library of high quality royalty-free stock footage, motion backgrounds, After Effects templates, and overlays has had me covered no matter the type of asset I need for my work. Well, in light of today's challenge, I am super excited that I'm finally going to get to upload my own collection of stock footage to the Storyblocks website. And the best part is that as time goes on, I will be adding more and more footage so that in future tutorials, you can download the clips, follow along, and try out the techniques and the effects for yourself. As always, you can check all of that out at storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer or go to the link in the description. So just to be clear for the challenge, you are more than welcome to use that extra bonus footage in your submission if you choose to, but it is by no means a requirement to use that extra footage. Like I said, the challenge is completely free to enter and there is more than enough to work with within the free collection. There is no bias at all in the judging process if somebody chooses to use the extra footage or not. So now I think it is about time we get into the rules and the prizes. Each person can only submit one edit as their entry and each entry must be no 
no longer than 30 seconds in length. There's gonna be a lot to get through, so please don't make your edits longer than 30 seconds. You can use as much of the footage provided as you like, but you are by no means required to use all of it. Feel free to use whatever you need to make your edit and discard any clips that you feel don't fit. Music and sound effects used in your edit must be royalty free. Please include a link to the music track used in your video when you submit your entry. Now I will be judging your submissions based on two things. Number one is uniqueness and creativity. If you've got some tricks up your sleeve that you think can impress or wow or surprise me, then don't hold back. Please have fun with it. Number two is the overall quality of the edit. Is it professional and polished? How is the pacing, the color grading? All of these things will be taken into consideration. Now, like I said, all of the instructions for this challenge, whether that's downloading the footage, submitting your entries, that's all going to be in the link down below at storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer. Now, when you're done your masterpiece and you are ready to submit, you can upload it to YouTube publicly and share it through the link I just mentioned. Submissions are open as of April 18th and will close May 1st, 2022 at 11 59 p.m. So make sure you get those submissions in before them. That is May 1st, 2022 at 11 59 p.m. Now, as for prizes, there are a lot of them. So I'm going to put a graphic up on the screen here. Thank you to Aperture, DJI, LoomCube, Nomadic, Insta360, Anchor, and of course, Storyblocks for providing an amazing lineup of prizes for first, second, and third place. In addition to these awesome prizes, I will also, of course, be featuring the top three entries along with some honorable mentions here on the YouTube channel. So make sure you go to the link in the description below at storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer to get started on your edits and that's it. I look forward to watching all of your videos and seeing how they turn out so don't wait too long to get started and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, good luck and have fun.